Three things. I'm Michael Fisher. I'm at IFA 2016 in Berlin, and I've been waiting six months to show you this. It's the Lenovo Yoga Book, and it's unlike any laptop you've ever seen. So yeah, I got to see the yoga book in prototype form a while ago, but I couldn't even take a photo. And in its close to final form, boy is it a head turner. One and a half pounds in the hand due to its magnesium aluminum construction, and less than 10 millimeters thick due to the fact that Lenovo forgot to add a keyboard. JK, LOL, there is one, but it's 100% touch. A capacitive panel with a matte finish and EL backlighting, which Lenovo calls a hollow keyboard. Typing on this is, well, it's going to take some getting used to. But Lenovo does provide the option for mild haptic feedback on keystrokes, so you don't feel like you're just tapping away on a sheet of glass. The hollow keyboard isn't just here to keep the yoga book thin. Switching it off activates the Wacom digitizer, which can detect over 2,000 levels of pressure from the Lenovo Real Pen. That's included in the box, too. It lets you do the expected. Scribble some notes or craft the occasional masterpiece, depending on your skill level. It also does something cooler. It lets you write on normal paper in real ink, and it saves a digital version of those scribblings to the yoga book. You can use any paper and pen tip you want, too. It's impressive. Though, I admit, I don't think I'd ever use this feature personally. Another cool thing. The yoga book ships with either Android or Windows 10 and it's nearly identical hardware either way. That means the same 8500 milliamp hour battery, the same micro SD expansion, the same sweet hinge that lets you go full tablet if you want. And while Windows is a little more suited for making the most of the screen real estate, Lenovo has built some customizations into the Android version for better multitasking. Some apps can run in phone-sized windows that you can manipulate independently, which is cool. With all this breathless enthusiasm from your favorite futurist, why wouldn't you buy this thing? Well, first off, the specs aren't universally top shelf. The heart of the yoga book is an Atom processor, and its 10-inch display tops out at HD, not Quad HD. Also, the Android version ships with Marshmallow, and while the newer Nougat is coming, we don't have a firm timetable yet. And as gorgeous as this thing looks, the idea of typing on this keyboard for any length of time has me a little iffy. I remember typing on a Surface Touch cover. It wasn't fun. But Lenovo could have tried charging a premium for this thing on portability and looks alone, and it's not doing that. Assuming the Yoga Book holds up in terms of performance, battery life, and, you know, being something you actually get used to typing on, I can see it being appealing to a designer or an artist, or someone looking for an ultra-portable notebook with more lapability than a tablet and keyboard dock, or someone who wants to be reminded every day that they are in fact living in the future. The Yoga Book hits stores in three colors and Wi-Fi and cellular flavors this fall, and with any luck, my full review will be up around the same time. Stay tuned. This video comes to you all the way from Berlin, Germany. Folks, subscribe so you don't miss more from Mr. Mobile at IFA 2016. Till next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.